Okay, so today we're going to talk about FHA versus conventional. Yes, FHA versus conventional. Um, I was going to do it with a whiteboard, but I think it's actually the math that often gets people into trouble. So I'm going to talk to you just like I talk to my clients when I'm looking at the two as options. So just so you guys know, FHA is always my last case scenario every time. I don't run to FHA unless I know they're not going to qualify for conventional upfront. I am always going to go immediately to conventional um, because it's a lower cost loan for the borrower. Yeah. And so you may go, but wait, the payment on FHA is $20 lower. Maybe, but FHA has a 1.75% funding fee. Yes, 1.75%, guys, that's a lot of money. So on every $100,000, FHA is saying, hey, thanks y'all, we want $17.50, and they finance into your loan. So if you're doing 3.5%, you're really only gaining 1.75% equity because FHA has that financing funding fee that they're rolling into your loan, okay? That is expensive. And when I'm looking at doing loans for my clients, I'm trying to figure out how do I get them into a loan in the lowest cost manner, okay? Yes. Now, the other thing with FHA is if you're doing the 3.5% down, the mortgage insurance is for the life of the loan. Yes. So you can't get out of that mortgage insurance unless you refinance mm -hmm, or you sell the house. So 20 years from now, right, you may not refinance because rates are so darn low, you're still gonna have mortgage insurance if you have FHA. If you have a conventional mortgage, 20 years from now, you are not gonna have mortgage insurance. 10 years from now, you are not gonna have mortgage insurance, okay? FHA, you're gonna have mortgage insurance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, lenders don't lead with that. Lenders lead with the low payment of FHA because on FHA, if I just look at rates, right? FHA is usually gonna be about half a percent lower than conventional. So people are like, well, wait, it's half a percent, Jen. Why isn't that better? 1.75% funding fee. If you guys wanna give me 1.75%, I can buy your rate down and I don't have to stick you in mortgage insurance for the life of the loan. I wish I had sound effects, that'd be cool, right? Okay, so the funding fee, the lifelong mortgage insurance. Now, here's the thing, you do have, if you put down more with FHA, where it's not lifelong, but it is still long AF, yes, long AF. So even with 20% down with FHA, you are going to be paying mortgage insurance. Yeah, so many lenders don't tell people that. You will be paying mortgage insurance with FHA, even with 20% down. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're like, oh God, why are lenders trying to put people in FHA? Okay. So there's a couple different reasons. And we'll talk about in a minute, like why FHA can be a good program, because I know this is coming off as like a true hating video on FHA, but I don't hate it. It's just not my first choice. And that's because I don't want you guys wasting your money. Um, if there's another option. Okay. So why would a lender put you in FHA? Uh, your debt to income is high. Yeah. So if your debt to income is over like 48%, um, FHA, we may get an accept. Whereas with DU, we may not get an accept. Okay. Um, we also might do FHA if when, uh, I'll clarify, DU's desktop underwriting. And I talk about it in other videos. It's a program that we run all applications through uh, to see if we get an approved eligible. It's automated underwriting. So if I can't get a desktop underwriting with conventional, I will try FHA next, definitely. Uh, because FHA is more forgiving. FHA is nicer to people on bankruptcies, foreclosures, lower credit scores. You know, FHA is a program to get everyone into the market, which is a good thing. And if you're in a position where you had a foreclosure, you know, four years ago, well, conventional, you're out. FHA, no problem, right? Bankruptcies, FHA has a shorter term than conventional. Um, and then sometimes what I'll see is that with people with newer credit, uh, conventional's not going for it. It's like, ah, no. Like the computer's like, but with FHA, it likes it because FHA is designed to try to get as many people into homes as possible. And that is a good thing, okay? So if you're in one of those circumstances where conventional's not gonna work, then FHA is a good option. However, if you're in a circumstance where you qualify for conventional, conventional is gonna be the cheapest option nine out of 10 times. Okay, so I don't want you to get totally dismayed if you're doing FHA, 
there you can refinance <laughs> at some point to get rid of that mortgage insurance and the rates are very low but if you have like a 760 credit score and someone's trying to push you into FHA that's a different that's a totally different thing okay so why would a lender do that a mm, couple different reasons now there is a group of lenders that sell by payment and also FHA has really fat margins, which make lenders lots of money. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing so many sound effects today. Um, it makes lenders lots of money. So sometimes they'll put you in FHA just because it's more beneficial to them. Little dark, I agree. Um, but the other thing is they sell by payment. Yes, by payment. And in certain cases, the FHA monthly payment is lower than conventional. And they'll just be like, well, FHA is cheaper. Let's do that. They don't go into the 1.75% funding fee. They don't go into the mortgage insurance for the life of the loan. They don't talk about how with conventional you can get rid of mortgage insurance once you hit a certain level. They just sell you the lower payment because most clients want the lowest payment until you tell them everything. Once you tell them everything, they're like, ooh, I'll go conventional, right? Now, another reason a lender might put you in FHA is because it's a, guarantee, a guaranteed refinance for that lender. Yeah, mm-hmm. So people who are in FHA want to get out of FHA. From what I've seen, like in my experience, you know, it was a loan program I used to do a ton of. Oh my God, so many. And it was 2000, I wanna say 10 through 13, and that was because we didn't have conventional three and 5% down. It wasn't available in the market. It's readily available now, and there's some great home first-time home buyer programs, Home Ready, Home Possible, um, which even if you don't have a great credit score, if you qualify for those with conventional, you're still gonna get a great rate and great mortgage insurance. So I've done my fair share of FHA over the years, and I can tell you that in circumstances where conventional is not an option, it is a good loan. It's just, if you've got that 760 credit score, if you're putting down 5%, you need to ask the lender why they're putting you in FHA. What is the motivation? Is it to get another refinance for them? Is it because there's more margin in it for them? Are they trying to give you a credit? Cause that's what we'll see sometimes too. Like I'll have someone be like, oh, well Jen, Bob's giving me $2,000. Yeah, but Bob's putting you in FHA and charging you like five and a funding fee, so I'm not really sure how that great math works. Um, or it could be your debt to income is very high. And I am a huge proponent of if your debt to income is high, your, your lender should be talking to you about your debt to income no matter what. No matter why, for, okay. Lenders who watch this, I love you guys, thank you, especially my new lenders who are learning through me. Guys, talk to borrowers about their debt to income. Borrowers, ask about your debt to income. Guys, it is a number that tells you your financial health. If they're putting you in FHA because they can't qualify you for conventional because your debt to income's at 54%, right? That's high. You need to know that because if I'm pushing you 54%, and not telling you, you're gonna get into that new house, you're gonna struggle a little bit. Cause you guys have to remember, we're looking at income off of gross, not net. So gross is before the government takes all the money. Yeah, before your medical insurance gets taken out, before your social security tax gets paid out, we're going off the big number. And if I'm qualifying you at 54% of that, once the government takes their quarter or however much, you don't have a lot left and you need to know that. And as a lender, if you're putting borrowers into 54% debt to income situations, you need to talk to them and you need to be talking to them about their debt to income regardless. Now, in a perfect world, everyone would be under 43%. The only time I'm super comfortable going over that is if there's income I can't count. Income I can't count would be like commission, right? Like maybe you just, you have a base salary, but you just started getting commission. You're killing it. You're getting $2,000 a month. I can't count it. Okay, I'm comfortable. But if we're using every penny you have, if we're using overtime, bonus, you know, everything, and your debt to income's at 54%, if anything slows down, if you don't get a bonus one year, if your overtime gets cut, it is gonna suck. <laughs> you could be in a really bad position. So you really wanna be aware why the lender is putting you in FHA. So I would say definitely ask, say, hey, you know, why are we doing FHA instead of conventional? And if they say the payment's lower, that's not a real answer. Like, why is the payment lower? What is my debt to income? 
okay? I want every one of you guys to say that with me. What is my debt to income? How are you calculating my debt to income? Now, if you guys are scared to ask the lender that, which you totally shouldn't be, it's what we're paid to do, um, I do have a video of how to calculate your debt to income. But you want to know why. If they just say, oh, it's just a lower payment and you have really good credit, I would be a little concerned. I would say, well, what about conventional? Why aren't we doing conventional? And if they go, oh, well, the payment's $20 more a month. Yeah, but it doesn't have a 1.75% 1, 1. funding fee and it doesn't have mortgage insurance for the life of the loan. Why are you putting me in FHA? Okay? Don't always go for what looks like the lowest payment. You need to know the costs and fees associated with the loans that you guys are getting. And I would love to tell you that every lender is going to be as upfront as I am, but unfortunately they're not. It's not necessarily because they're trying to dupe you. Sometimes it's just because they don't know how to talk. I know. It's weird. So I hope this has been super helpful on FHA versus conventional. Um, the bottom line is that as a lender, FHA is my last resort. It's my last resort. If I can't qualify you for conventional, I'm going to FHA then. And the reason is, is because FHA has a 1.75% funding fee. And if you're doing the three and a half percent down, it has mortgage insurance for the life of the loan. Conventional does not have a funding fee and the mortgage insurance can be canceled at a certain level. So I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.